In this video, we delve into 10 essential facts about the Mauser Car 98 rifle. From its historical significance to its design features, we cover everything you need to know about this iconic firearm. Whether you're a history buff or a gun enthusiast, this video will provide you with valuable insights into the Mauser Car 98. Watch now and expand your knowledge on this legendary rifle. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content on firearms and military history. According to many experts, the Mauser K98 is the best bolt-action rifle in history, a title fundamentally conceived due to its exceptional precision and extraordinary design. This weapon, which for many years was the primary rifle of the German infantry, played a substantial role in the outcome of one of the greatest conflicts in history, World War II. A reliable, lightweight, robust, precise, fine, and lethal weapon, it quickly became a nightmare for the Allied forces but eventually spread worldwide, reaching the hands of millions of people. Sit back and get ready to learn 10 incredible facts you need to know about the Mauser K98. Let's begin! To understand the history of the K98, we have to go back to World War I. At that time, the Gewehr 98 was used, which had been designed by Paul Mauser in 1895 and officially entered service for the German army in 1898, hence its respective model. At the beginning of World War I, there were already 2,273,080 Gewehr 98 rifles, and 7 million more were manufactured during the war. However, the excessive size of the Gewehr posed a significant disadvantage, as it was really difficult for the infantry to transport. This rifle measured about 125 centimeters in length, making it too bulky, uncomfortable, and often useless. Soon, this disadvantage rendered it obsolete for the wars to come, especially for carrying out the Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, a military tactic that involved bombing followed by a rapid and surprise advance with ground troops. The Blitzkrieg required soldiers to have a new weapon with reduced dimensions for mass transport. In 1933, Hitler came to power and invested 90 billion marks to reactivate the German army. To carry out this plan, a call was made to the Mauser company, which under the supervision of Paul Mauser, created a modified version of the Gewehr 98. They sought a precise, compact, and safe bolt-action rifle. In the end, Mauser gave Hitler exactly what he needed, the Mauser Karabiner 98. This new weapon, also known as the Kar 98, Karabiner 98, or Mauser K98K, quickly became the standard weapon for soldiers. It was also used by units of the German Navy, Air Force, and the SS. The Mauser K98 was used in all the major battles fought by the German Army in North Africa, Eastern Europe, France, and the Balkans during World War II. Peter Paul Mauser, the creator of the fascinating Car 98, was born on June 27, 1838, in the Kingdom of Württemberg, Germany. His father and four of his brothers were fully dedicated to the manufacture of weapons, and from a young age, Paul showed great creativity and skill with tools. In 1859, he joined the Prussian army as an artilleryman, where he began his career as a gunsmith. He and his brother Wilhelm designed the Mauser 1871 rifle, which was the first of a successful line of weapons and quickly became one of the main weapons of the German Empire positioning them as one of the major arms companies of the time. Wilhelm, Paul's brother, showed great business acumen, while Paul excelled in the technical and engineering aspects. Because of this, Mauser began receiving requests from other countries such as the United States and France, who were interested in acquiring their weapons. During his career, Paul Mauser and his technicians made significant contributions to the design and mechanism of bolt-action rifles, which are still applied to the creation of modern weapons today. The Mauser K98 is a rifle that uses a bolt-action lever system. It was developed by the Mauser company in 1935. It has a total length of 110 centimeters and a weight of approximately 4.1 kilograms loaded. It fires 7.92 X57 Mauser caliber ammunition. Each shot can reach a velocity of 860 meters per second, giving it an effective range of 500 meters using the integrated sight and approximately 1,000 meters using an 8x magnifying telescopic sight. Its rate of fire is 10 to 13 rounds per minute and it uses 5-round stripper clips. The first stocks of these rifles were made with walnut wood, but since 1938, they have been made with laminated wood. From its design, 
The Mauser was made to carry a wide variety of accessories, including telescopic sights, bayonets, grenade launchers, and silencers. It is estimated that by the end of World War II, around 14 million K-98 rifles had been produced. The effectiveness of this weapon was clear. However, it had to be adapted for different tasks, leading to several variants. The most relevant ones are as follows. Mauser Kriegsmodell. In 1944, near the end of the war, a more simplified version was created to increase production rates. The bayonet rail, the metal disc in the stock used to disassemble the bolt, and other unnecessary elements were removed. Mauser K-98 Sniper Version. A rifle so reliable and precise had to be adapted for the precision shooters of the Third Reich. This version was equipped with advanced telescopic sights of 4x, 6x, and 8x magnification, sniper mounts, and butt plates. It is estimated that 132,000 K-98 sniper rifles were produced, making them extremely rare today. Mauser K-98 Paratrooper Version. German Army paratroopers requested a specialized version, as the standard Car 98 was too long to be used during jumps. Some experimental models were manufactured with folding stocks and detachable barrels, but they never saw the light of day. G40K, also an experimental version, it consisted of a shortened Mauser K98 measuring only 100 cm. In 1941, a batch of 82 G40K was produced, but it did not go any further. The Mauser K-98 has a long service history and has participated in some of the most brutal conflicts in history, including the Spanish Civil War, World War II, the 1948 Costa Rican Civil War, the First Indochina War, the Chinese Civil War, the Korean War, the Suez Crisis, the Portuguese Colonial War, the Vietnam War, the Six-Day War, the Yom Kippur War, the Soviet-Afghan War, the Yugoslav Wars, the Iraq War, and the Syrian Civil War. Since 2003, U.S. forces have confiscated Mauser K-98 rifles from Iraqi insurgents, who curiously prefer this type of weapon over much more modern ones like the AK-47. The Mauser K-98 has been officially used by more than 30 countries, including Belgium, China, Denmark, the Netherlands, Italy, Portugal, Sweden, France, Bulgaria, Algeria, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Paraguay, Peru, Spain, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Today, the price of the Mauser continues to rise due to its incredible historical value. Basically, any variant or model of the K-98 commands a high price, which is why many collectors see this weapon as an investment. The sniper version is the most popular and valuable, leading to several forgeries. This demonstrates that the buying and selling of K-98s is quite lucrative. However, the final price also depends on the model, variant, and quality. The Mauser K-98 can be found for a price of $2,500 to $2,700, while sniper variants start at $7,000. For a shooter, there are much more affordable options, as it would not be convenient to fire this rifle but rather to keep it in a display case where its price will continue to rise indefinitely. The Mauser K-98 continues to appear in many movies and video games. In cinema, it can be found in movies such as, Rambo 3, Indiana Jones, American Ninja, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, X-Men, Insurrection, Enemy at the Gates, The Pianist, Saints and Soldiers, Hellboy, Lord of War, Valkyrie, The Red Baron, Stalingrad, The Battle for Sevastopol, and Dunkirk. In video games, it can be found in titles like Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, Brothers in Arms, Mafia 2, Sniper Elite, and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.